Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. Claim Wars campaign has started again, and I've moved across to GSL to help out with numbers um, for the campaign, and uh, they can help help them uh, with the campaign. All right, now we're in a 10v10 battle against a uh, clan called Upyon. Uh, you can see the order of battle that we've got is two CS-63s, three Russian mediums, a Leopard 1 and three, or well, four heavy tanks, but uh, three chiefs and one object 277. So now I'm not in this battle, so don't blame me if they win. All right, now we spotted two CS-63s now. Um, they have a whole bunch of chieftains. Uh, it looks like they've got eight chieftains and two mediums, so the mediums are going to come up to the top of the battle area here and try and get rid of their two mediums and then start focusing on the chiefs at the back who are obviously going to focus on the heavies that we've got below thinking they can overmatch, which they might be able to do. But let's see how it goes. We're going to DPM them with the mediums um, if they're distracted by the heavies. So we've got rid of one C63 now. You can see they're just circling around, get rid of the next one, and then finally there's a chieftain up there on the hill, or there was, on low hit points. Just trying to get our Leopard 1 into battle now, he's coming up the back of the hill, and now focusing on the... Just trying to zoom back in a bit. Camera gets a bit crazy sometimes. Alright, we are focused on tucked on series at the back here, so can't get as close as we want. But uh, now they've got some very low health hit, hit point chieftains, so focus fire is always about getting the lowest health tank out of the game as quickly as possible, get rid of the gun, and once you do that, move on to the other tanks, and just get people to fire at one tank at a time to get them out as quickly as possible. And getting rid of their guns gives you overmatch, which is a you know, standard tactic in Flame Wars. So this tucky just gets rammed by the chieftain there, but the chieftain's not focusing on him for some reason. But in any case, they've only got two chiefs left, so this is sort of game over. And it's just a matter of getting rid of them. So the problem with getting tanks too close, of course, is getting a clear target. And just trying to keep them separated a little bit. But you see the um, tanks just moving around, trying to get clear angles and put their shots in. Alright, so down to the last one. You see, pretty quick battle. Once you've gained the upper hand, it's very hard to lose it, particularly in these 10v10s, because the um, yeah, generally the tanks keep together. All right, so that's the end of the battle. We'll have a quick look at the results and talk about it then. All right, we've got uh, Taki's results here. Uh, he managed to do four and a half K of damage. Pretty good for a medium and uh, helps certainly when the enemy is distracted. Um, you can see the winning team gets a lot more credits and experience than the losing team. This is typical clan wars. So get, you know, with the bulk of the um, EXP. It depends how much damage they did, of course, to get thing. But you can see some of their tanks did 3k and 2k, so not too bad in that respect. But yeah, pretty much the overmatching that happens quickly. So economics here. So Tucky fired 14, 12 hit, 12 of those penetrated. Um, there is extra battle payments going, of course, for the clan, and that helps the income there, and so he's made a decent uh, tidy profit there, which is what you do in a win, but you'll guarantee you'll lose credits if you're on the losing side. So, nice short game there. Well done, boys. Um, happy to be with the team for the duration of the campaign, so we'll see a few more battles uh, coming out. And so if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please consider doing that. We'll have more of these battles to come, so thanks very much for watching.